Hi students, today we are going to see about the binomial nomenclature and trinomial nomenclature. So what is binomial nomenclature? So here these biologists follow universally accepted principle to provide scientific names is known organisms. So each name has two components that is a genus name and species name that is generic name and species name species uh, aspect so here this each name have an two components so the systems of naming the organisms is called as binomial nomenclature because the presence of genus name and species name two so by means two okay norman means name okay so this genus and species name have the binomial nomenclature so which was popularized by carolus linnaeus and practiced by the biologist all over the world so the example the national bird indian pea fowl pavo cristatus genus name and species name and the national animal tiger panthera tigris panthera is an genus name and tigris is an species name and the next for tamil nadu state bird a uh, common emerald dove okay then uh, chalo papers indica chalo papes indica so next for trinomial nomenclature so this this naming system was proposed by Huxley and uh, Sticklandy. Huxley and Stickland. Stickland. So this trinomial nomenclature was proposed to by. Huxley and Strickland. So this trinomial means trinomen, three names, genus name, species name, and subspecies name. So when the numbers of any species which have large variations, the trinomial system is used. So on the basis of dissimilarities, this subspecies, the species get classified into subspecies okay so on the basis of dissimilarities uh, the species uh, gets classified into subspecies so it is the extensions of binomial nomenclature systems which are additions of subspecies okay so this binomial nomenclature extensions of the additions of subspecies all the three names are set in italics this names have to be uh, written in italics and only the first letters of generic name is capitalized for example the corvus blandus the first generic uh, genus name of c have to be written in capitalized so if uh, hand written then it should be underlined separately maybe it handwritten it may be asked separately because of uh, we written in italic forms we did not written in italics form so only the written form uh, we have uh, specified by underlined the sentences so uh, these are the binomial nomenclatures and trinomial nomenclatures next for tautonym what is tautonym it's important to mark questions tautonym is nothing but the practice of naming the animals in which the generic name and species name are the same what the generic name and the species name was same for example naja naja indian cobra Naja, Naja, Naja is an genus name and generic name and Naja also species name. So here the generic name and the species name will be same. 
so only it is called as tautonym okay tautonym it's very important to mark questions okay it's clear thank you students yeah.